Hi people and welcome to the third part of this floor plan elevation. If you just arrived here accidentally, you can watch the first and second parts by clicking on the card above. Let's start. So, let's start drawing the windows. I start with the command rectangle, this one. Then select a base point. Then I type the horizontal length, press tab and type the vertical distance. Press enter to place the rectangle. After doing this, with the command offset, I insert an inner rectangle with an offset distance of 5 cm, 0.05 meters. I select the object and click again anywhere inside the rectangle. I press enter or escape to leave the command. It's done, as you see. Now let's draw the four smaller rectangles which represent the window glazing. This time I draw a little line at 5 cm from this corner. For that I drag to the right horizontally, type the extension of 0.05, then draw a vertical line, better switch to ortho mode, and type 0.05 again. With rectangle again, draw one with the length of 50 cm in the direction of the X axis, press tab and 45 cm on the Y axis. Now, on the next step, I'm going to use the command mirror to quickly draw the remaining glazing. I select the rectangle, press enter, click on the middle of this line, it's the midpoint, and draw a vertical mirror line here. Then choose no to not erase the objects. Press enter to reactivate the previous command, select both rectangles and this time the mirror line will be from the middle of the vertical line. It was very simple. Finally, we need two more lines in the middle. But first, let's draw a vertical one exactly from the midpoint. Then, with offset, type the alias O, Type the offset distance 2.5 cm, select the line, click at the right and then select it again and click on the left. Finally, you can erase the line in the middle and I have the gap of 5 cm between both lines. Don't forget also to delete this little line, it was just for support. The window is not completed. I need a vertical line here of 5 cm. Then I'm going to copy it to the other side. Ah, but look, it's not exactly on the right place. Be careful. We have to repeat this process again. Delete the line and I'm going to use copy again, select the object and then carefully click on the base point and then click on the other side and you, on the other side you can zoom to be sure you click on the right place. Now, after drawing the window itself, there is a frame below and over it. I will show you a quick way to draw this. With the command rectangle go to this end point, move to the left without clicking and place the first corner at 0.15 from that end point. Then type the length 1.65 meters, press tab and type the width minus 0.15 as it will be in the negative direction on the y axis. For the top frame, use copy, select the rectangle, then I hold this intersection, move down slowly 
and click on this point exactly below. Then, copy the frame to the point above, in order to be in the right position. Ah, but this frame is a bit wider than the one below, it has 20 cm of thickness. You click on it, then if you click on the grip at the middle, I can extend the width 0.05 meters. Finally, I can check if it's correct with the command distance. Here you have. Now, I want to convert a window to a block, but this time we want a window into different colors. How can we do this? Well, there is a very practical way to do this process. First, we put the objects on the layer 0. Then, select both frames and change the color to by block. You will understand what that means after. Now, to create a block, I type B or click in the icon in the block panel above. At the block definition window, I insert first the name of the block here. Then, I click here to select the objects. Click on OK and choose the base point, this corner. Now the block is done and it went to the layer walls because it was selected as the current layer at the time I created the block. However, if I change the block layer to a different one, you can see that it gets the properties of the layer I moved to. But if I change the color of the block here, you will notice that only the former objects that had the parameter by block changed. The remaining objects of the window were in by layer. They keep the layer color. In this case, the layer walls in white. On the next section, insert the windows in the drawing. First, we need to draw these horizontal lines across the entire elevation. They indicate the right position of the window. To draw the first line, I hove this endpoint, move up and type the distance of 0 0.75. Then connect the line until the other side. Here. Then I draw another horizontal line at a height of 3.55 from the bottom. And a third one at 6.75 to place the windows of the second floor. Now with the command offset, I put a second line at 0 0.15 meters, which is the height of the window bottom frame. Click on this line, move up and click again, and repeat the process for the other two. OK. Now, move the lines to the layer tilts. Select them all, click on this tab and select tilts. Then, I'm going to the window that I already have it on the workspace. I'm going to copy it. I select this base point and then I go to the floor plan and place it on this intersection. Do the same for the first floor and second floor. It's easy, as you can see. To place the remaining windows, we need to be sure that the construction lines are in the correct place. So I'm going to use copy. I select the windows. Click on this intersection and then move horizontally until you reach the next con construction line, this one. 
then keep inserting the windows using the floor plan to help following the construction lines. It's simple. But to be easier, let's move the floor plan a bit up. I select everything, use any base point, can be this one, then just move vertically, but make sure this table extension is on the screen. And don't forget to zoom in the workspace to make sure you click on the correct object snap point. So, you can finish placing the windows without problems. You only need to take into consideration that these smaller windows have a different size. So, leave that place empty for the moment. Once I reach the end, I can delete these two windows that are not necessary anymore. Next step, the windows at the staircase are not at the same height as the others. So, instead of deleting them, I can first move them to the bottom of the drawing, select both, I click in this, in this uh, base point for example, and put it on the bottom of the, of the floor plan. Then press enter to use move command again, and select here block reference. Select both windows and place them with a new height of 2.1 meters. Delete that window that I don't need and now you can see that the window above is also correct because the vertical distance between windows is the same. Now, looking at the floor plan, there are two windows here of 0.9 meters of length. I can draw them from scratch or use the existing window and modify it. I will show you this second way as it's going to be quicker. So, here you have both windows with their lengths of the frame. I'm going to use copy. I'm going to copy the first window Use copy. I select it and copy to this side. Then I'm going to use the command explode because it's a block reference. I click on it, press enter, and now these objects are lines and polylines as you can see. Then to convert this in the second window, I have to use the command stretch, the alias is S, press enter, select the objects to stretch and I open the selection area just until here because I don't want to modify the left side of the window. Press enter and click on this corner for the base point. Then I stretch the window horizontally to the left. Now I have to insert the length of 0.45 because it's the difference between 1.65 and 1.2. So the size of the borders are correct. Then I'm going to select these objects and press delete to erase them. Next step, I'm going to draw a vertical line at 0.05 meters from the corner and intersect it at the bottom. Ok, now I select both rectangles and using the grips I can stretch them to that line. Like this. At the end, I, I press escape now, I just need to click on that line and erase it. So the window of 0.9 meters of length is done. So, like before, the frames have the color defined as by block. As you can see if I select them. And the remaining objects are defined as by layer. And this happens because it's a modification of the original window. 
Now let's convert this object to a block. I type B and press enter. Insert the block name. Then I'm going to select the object. Press enter. Then I click on OK and finally specify the base point. So the window is now on the layer walls and let's change its color to this one to match the windows of the other rooms. Going to the floor plan, I can see a construction line here, but not at the position of the left window. Let's move one there. First, I need to unlock the layer guidelines in this icon. After, with the command move, I select the line, then click in any point, this midpoint for example, then I click in the start of the window, and maybe now you are noticing that I move the cursor a bit up, however, that's not important because the construction lines have infinite length. This is important to remember. Lock the layer guidelines again, and finally I'm going to copy the window to the elevation. Select it and now make sure you choose the start of the window as the base point and not the frame. Following the guidelines, slowly I can click it in the right intersection. Now I just need to do the same for the window at the side, slowly. Now I'm going to zoom and click there. If you noticed, I was with the Earth mode turned on. And even it looked a bit confusing, it's okay since you click on the correct object snap point. So that's the end of the third part of this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Get In Black, but even better, don't forget to watch the next part and final part of this elevation tutorial. See you soon!